find the next two terms of the elements of the sequence 1, 8, 19, 32, 49. So you study the sequence, get the common difference. So we have here 8 minus 1, 7. 19 minus 8, 11. 32 minus 19, that is 13. 49 minus 32 will give you 17. So, you notice here, we can get another common difference. 11 minus 7 give you 4. 13 minus 11, 2. 17 minus 13, 4. So we have now a pattern, 4, 2, 4. So next, 17 plus 2, plus 2, 19. So this 19, we're going to add to 49. 49 plus 19, give you 68. Next, our pattern is 4, 2, 4, 2. So 19 plus 4, that is 23. Now, 68 plus 23 will give you 91. So our next two elements will would be 68 and 91. Completely. 49x squared minus 4y squared. Notice in our expression, this is the difference of two squares. So this is a perfect square. 7x plus square root of 4, 2y, quantity 7x minus 2y. Cut. Simplify 5 raised to n plus 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 5 raised to n. Five raised to n. First step, we need to get the greatest common factor. So our GCF is 5 raised to n. Quantity, this will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. We have 5. Now add, copy the common factor, 5 raised to n. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, plus 1 will give you since they have the same base, copy the base, then our rules in exponent, we need to add. So that is n plus our exponent here is 1. So the final answer is 5 raised to n plus 1. Write in lowest terms without zero or negative exponents. a raised to 2p plus 3, b raised to p plus 5, all over a raised to 2p minus 3, b p raised to p minus 1. In our loads of exponent, if we have the same bases, we need to copy the base. So we have a here. Then subtract the exponent. 2p minus 2p. The answer is 0, so we don't need to write. 3 minus negative 3. That is 6. Next, our base here is b p minus p, that is 0, 5 minus negative 1 will give us 6. So a raised to 6, b raised to 6 is the final answer. Reduce in lowest terms. Quantity 2x plus 3, x plus 1, all over quantity 2x plus 3, quantity x plus 1. So in these questions, this is a tricky part, we can't cancel x plus 1 and x plus 1 because in our, our first step must be we need to distribute x because this is the part of the expression. So x times 2x, 2x squared. x times 3, plus 3x. Copy plus 1. All over, since our denominator is in factored form, we, ju we can just copy x, 2x plus 3, x plus 1. This time, we need to factor our numerator. 
So the factor of numerator is 2x plus 1 and x plus 1. All over, copy, 2x plus 3, x plus 1. This times, this time, we can now cancel x plus 1 and x plus 1. So our final answer is 2x plus 1 all over 2x plus 3. Perform the indicated operation and simplify. x cubed over x squared minus x minus 2 times x squared plus x minus 6 all over x squared plus 3x. So, first step, we need to get the factors. Copy x cubed over get the factors of x squared minus x minus 2. So, that is x minus 2 x plus 1 times factors of x squared plus x minus 6 is x plus 3 x minus 2 factors common factor is x x plus 3 Cancel x minus 2 and x minus 2. x plus 3, x plus 3. x squared divided by x will give us x squared all over. Copy the remaining denominator x plus 1. And now the final answer. The conversion formula for Celsius to Fahrenheit is f is equal to 9 over 5c plus 32. Solve the equation for c. First step, transpose 9 over 5c will give us negative 9 over 5c is equal to transpose f, negative f plus 32. Okay, to remove 9 Negative 9 over 5, multiply the equation by negative 5 over 9. So this will be cancelled out. So the remaining is C is equal to negative times negative 5 over 9 quantity F minus 32. Final answer. So. Question number 8. Factor completely. x cubed plus 1 to 5 y cubed. So this is the sum of two cubes. First step, get the cube root of x cubed. That is x. Copy the sign plus cube root of 1 to 5 y cubed is 5y. Close quantity. Open parenthesis. Square the first term. x squared. Multiply the first and the second, that is 5xy times negative, so negative 5xy. Then, square the second term, positive 25y squared. Final answer. Number 9, write in lowest terms without zero or negative exponents. Quantity x raised to 6, y raised to negative 5, z raised to 8, over x raised to negative 6, y raised to 4, z raised to negative 1, raised to negative 1 third. So again, our rules in loves of exponent, we need to simplify. So we have to the same basis, x, so x, so add our exponent, 6 minus negative 6, that will give us that will give us x raised to 12. For here, y negative 5 minus 4 give us negative 9. So since this is negative, let's put it in our denominator will give us y raised to 9. Z 
negative 8 minus 1 is 9. So C raised to 9. Raised to negative 1 third. Let us write our answer. Since this is raised to negative one third, so we'll multiply x 12 times 1, 12 divided by 3, negative 4, z 9 times 1 divided by 3, negative 3, all over y. 9 times 1 divided by 3, negative 3. Our condition without negative exponent, so we need to reverse. Our final answer must be y raised to 3 all over x raised to 4, z raised to 3. What is the perimeter of a square if its area is 25x squared plus 30x plus 9, where x is greater than 0? We know that the area for a square is S squared. Given the area, which is a perfect square trinomial, we can get the value for S. So that is 5x plus 3, square of a binomial. So this is our value for S. To get the perimeter, perimeter for a square is 4s. So we need to multiply 4 times s is 5x plus 3. Distribute 4 times 5x, 20x plus 4 times 3, 12. We have unit, so we don't have unit, so we need to put units. This would be our final answer.